Good morning. Good morning. So this morning I um want to talk about not quitting. Don't quit. Um, so I was listening to one of our motivational speakers in our network marketing companies last night and he was just talking about, you know, not quitting. And, you know, God could have given you a book to write and because your creative juices aren't flowing or you can't think about, you know, what to write, you're ready to give up and you're ready to quit. Maybe God has given you a ministry and, you know, that member, that one member who always gets on your nerve, yes, I said it, is is driving you nuts and you're just ready to quit. You know, uh, maybe you're supposed to be going to school and, you know, you just can't write that paper. Or how about you just can't get those math concepts? Because math is hard for a lot of people in, in college and in school. Or maybe it's a, a job that God told you to, to take. And, and now the boss is getting on your nerves. Your coworkers, they getting on your nerves. And so you're ready to quit that job that the Lord told you to take. Um, it could be a business that you've started and you're not getting enough clients or your clients are quitting on you. And so you're just ready to give up. But I'm telling you today, don't quit. Stay in the race. Don't give up. In Second Chronicles, it says 15 and 7, to be strong, do not give up for your work will be rewarded. So don't give up because your work is going to be rewarded. I mean, what about if David would have quit fighting Goliath when Goliath came out and started saying like, what you finna do? What if David would have quit? You know, what if Noah would have quit building the ark because people were teasing him and were taunting him and talking about him? His family would not have been saved. You know, even Jonah, he tried to quit, right? But he got swallowed up by a whale and, 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 and the Lord was like, no, you're going to go go to Nineveh. So you cannot quit. You can't give up. Somebody needs to read that book that you're writing. Somebody needs to hear a word that you're you're preaching in that ministry. Somebody needs you to witness to them on that job. So there is a purpose in what God has told you to do. So you cannot give up. What if Michael Jordan would have given up? You know, he wouldn't have been one of the greatest basketball um, stars of all time. What if T.D. Jakes would have gave up? I mean, he tells a story all the time how he was at a church and I think he was there like seven or eight years and in that entire time, they only let him preach like one time for seven or eight years. I mean, you know, if the Lord called you to preach and you ain't preaching, you would have been left that church and went to a church that they're going to let you preach every Sunday, right? But he was, but he didn't give up. He didn't quit. And he could have said easily, well, you know, the Lord must then call me to preach because I've only preached one time in the last three years or four years or five years. No, he continued to be molded. He continued to be shaped. And he did not give up. And now he, you know, he's a, a prominent bishop. So you cannot give up. I even think about um a few weekends ago, Tiger Woods, he won, I don't know if it's the Masters or the PGA or whatever it was, he won. But what if he would have quit? What if he would have quit after all that controversy about him? And, you know, it's been like a you know, I don't know, I think it was like 10 years it's been or whatever. But what if he would have quit? And what if he didn't keep on playing golf? He didn't keep on practicing. Who would he would have never been able to won? Um, what he did a few weeks ago. So I'm telling you this morning, do not give up. Be strong. Be strong. Don't give up. Don't quit. If the Lord told you to do it, do it. Don't quit because you will be rewarded. All right, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you later on.